Scott from Scott Shop Media. Today is Friday, October 16th, and this is what is happening on the mountain. A lot of news to go over today from the last couple of days and upcoming weekend. Currently, there are three scheduled Caltrans projects affecting your commute today uh, and over the weekend. Um, weather, there is a week Santa Ana event uh, still going on. That should be W E A K week Santa Ana event going on until about six o'clock tonight with a, a red flag warning. Uh, and then after this passes, then we should see some cooler temps starting this weekend and into next week. Uh, we are uh, still have an elevated fire danger, um, primarily because of the Santa Ana event. Uh, and then uh, we don't see uh, any relief from that uh, until we can get some moisture on the ground. Uh, El Dorado fire, no updates this week. Uh, so we're still calling it 22,744 acres with 95% containment. There was some smoke coming up from it this morning. A couple of calls, a couple of 911 calls off the 38. Uh, that's to be expected. Uh, eight crimes reported across the mountain in the past 48 hours. There are currently uh, seven uh, Edison maintenance outages across the mountain, affecting a total of 20, uh, 226 customers. And then uh, 612 customers still without power in the Forest Falls area uh, due to damage, major damage to the infrastructure to Edison's lines out there. Uh, there are uh, three new COVID cases reported on the mountain in the past 48 hours, and you might not have felt it, but there was a 1.9 magnitude earthquake near the Big Bear yesterday. So that's uh, a brief nutshell of what is going on. If you have a few more minutes to stick around, we're going to go into greater detail, starting with Caltrans projects. We have only one going on uh, during the day today, and that's over here on State Route 38, where you're down to one lane uh, as uh, Caltrans does some emergency work between Old Mill Creek and Jenks Lake, and that should last until about 5 o'clock tonight. Uh, traffic is looking nice across the mountain right now, but expect... Uh, as the forest is open, uh, that we will see additional visitors. Uh, there are activities going on this weekend across the mountain, especially Halloween and fall related stuff. So we expect to see some increased traffic over the weekend. Uh, currently, uh, Bear, uh, Bear Valley Fire Department, the Big Bear Fire Department is responding to traffic accident uh, over in Big Bear. So if you heard emergency vehicles earlier today, that was going on. Uh, they also had a rescue um, and uh, for a an injured hiker uh, over Castle Rock area. So you might have saw that earlier this morning as well. Otherwise, things look good. Traffic-wise, expected the ongoing uh, miscellaneous work going down on the bottom of the 330 interchange to the 210. I might have you closed overnight tonight, tomorrow night, Sunday night, uh, as crews um, uh, take up the entire ramp to do some construction. And then uh, tonight and tomorrow night, uh, you'll see some guardrail uh, repairs going on on State Route 189 in the Lake Gregory area. Next, we have a red flag warning until about 6 o'clock tonight across the mountain. Slightly warmer temperatures, lower humidity. Humidity is expected to drop into single digits uh, later on today. Uh, so that will give us uh, some extreme fire uh, concerns. It sh the wind should taper off tonight, and we actually should see a return of uh, the maybe some uh, uh, onshore uh, moisture uh, with a thickening marine layer uh, starting tomorrow and through the early part of next week. Uh, so that will bring us some cooler temperatures, uh, gradual cooling by a degree or two each day uh, through next week. Uh, red flag warning uh, until about six o'clock tonight for the mountain top. Um, and so far, we've been uh, very good with fires. We haven't seen uh, anything reported in Southern California. Uh, so that's the good news. Uh, we have that week, our marginal uh, Santa Ana event going on right now with gusts up to about 25 miles an hour as expected this afternoon. Again, tapering off uh, overnight. Uh, and then no significant wind events uh, through next weekend. Uh, we are at a moderate risk of new fires starting today and uh, spreading for today. 
and that'll be the same for at least the next for uh, next week or so for the foreseeable future. The San Bernardino National Forest is under extreme fire danger. Uh, the forest has reopened. It reopened last weekend for visitors, uh, so we should see um, uh, a bunch of people camping in not all, but some of the camping spots, picnic areas, hiking, what have you. Uh, there are uh, major restrictions still in place, especially when it comes to fire. So really the only open flame that is permitted is uh, propane barbecues. And for the next three or four months, fire danger remains about typical for this time of year, slightly elevated um, and uh, until we get a significant rainfall or snow event, uh, that should remain the same. No fires burning on the mountaintop. Uh, El Dorado fire still holding. No updates uh, from the Forest Service for the past week, so we're still holding it at about 95%. You'll still see smoke coming up from that fire. There was a couple of reports today, in fact, a smoldering log, and that's pretty typical, especially with these uh, increased wind gusts and the lower humidity. Uh, but that smoke is all within the contained area and presents no threat to the forest. We had eight crimes reported across the mountain in the past 48 hours. Uh, here's what it looked like over in the Rim communities, mostly in the Lake Arrowhead area. Uh, grand theft, uh, some, uh, a couple of petty thefts. I'm not sure if the, there's three of them. I'm not sure if any of them were related or not. Um, two of them occurring at the same location, so they may very well be related. And then over in Bear Valley, another four crimes. A person carried a concealed weapon, a couple of other shoplifting or miscellaneous uh, theft and then a person arrested for being possession of narcotics. There are a bunch of power outages going on today. None of them related to the weather that we can best tell. Uh, there are about 226 customers across the western part of the mountain, primarily without power in Twin Peaks and Lake Arrowhead, for Dalba, area of Running Springs, uh, and Green Valley Lake. Um, most of that is either equipment upgrades uh, or e equipment problems. And the, uh, there's five different equipment problems that happened today, which is not a typical event that has a scheduled outage. So we're not quite sure what's going on. So if you're without power, crews are working on it and expect to, the pa that power to return anytime between now and three o'clock this afternoon. And additionally, uh, over in the El Dorado fire area near Forest Falls, there's a, a bunch of customers, 612 still without power. Um, as crews work to repair some major damage to the uh, power line distribution system over there. There are no public safety power outages uh, near us. There is a handful of them going on in Ventura and LA County, uh, Western LA County, Eastern uh, Ventura County due to the winds, uh, but that has not extended east towards us yet, but we will definitely keep you posted if Edison plans on turning off power uh, due to public safety uh, fire issues. You might not have felt it, but yesterday there was a 1.8 magnitude earthquake uh, centered north, a couple miles north of a Big Bear City. Uh, yesterday was also the great shakeout, so that would be a great reminder uh, to practice. What would you do if the ground started shaking right now? Duck cover and hold and um, have an emergency plan, a communication plan, have emergency supplies, know what you would do in the event of a major earthquake. And lastly, a quick update on our COVID-19 situation. Broken down uh, geographically, the communities that comprise of the Rim of the World uh, Unified School District uh, is uh, in the orange for on the state's four-tier color-coded uh, risk system, and then the Bear Valley Unified School District, you guys are in the red, um, and that would be a good indication of when schools would be allowed to uh, reopen uh, based upon their risks. Here's how it breaks down uh, by individual communities. Angeles Oaks, you still have three cases with a minimum risk, a one new case in Big Bear City, substantial risk, one new case in Big Bear Lake, moderate risk, Blue Jay still has 12, Minimal risk, Cedar Glen, minimal risk with seven. Uh, by the way, this risk matrix, this is updated daily. Uh, so um, based upon uh, the uh, current testing of positive. 
Uh, so some of these numbers will jump around pretty quickly. Uh, Cedar Glen still has seven minimum, Crestline 80 minimum, Fawnskin three minimum, Forest Falls seven minimum, Green Valley Lake one minimum. Uh, Lake Arrowhead has uh, one new case, bringing the total to 40 in a substantial risk. Rim Forest four minimum, Running Springs 35 widespread, uh, Sugarloaf 13 minimum, and Twin Peaks 12 substantial. How does that look? Uh, substantial risk uh, in the Bear Valley, moderate risk in the rim communities. Overall, mountain wide, we're at a mountain, we're at a moderate risk. Compare that to the rest of the county at a widespread risk, the rest of the state widespread risk, the rest of the country widespread risk. So that's all I have for you today. Um, we won't do an update over the weekend, a video update over the weekend, unless there's uh, a substantial breaking news. Otherwise, we will just share updates from CHP, Caltrans, local fire departments, Cal Fire, Forest Service, and similar public safety agencies. Have a safe weekend.